largest part of this, our rotor. In this facility, the rotors weigh 400 tons. Now this spins at 150 revolutions per minute and it's surrounded by a series of copper wires. Whenever one of these magnets passes by the coil, so that's what starts the flow of electricity. To make this spin, we have a long steel shaft and a turbine at the bottom. So water falls down our pen stocks, hits the turbine, starts it all spinning. Water will then exit through this draft tube right back to the Niagara River. Now, guys, if you want to have a look out the side window, you get a really nice view of the Niagara River and the gorge. Also, give you a better idea for how far down the came in our elevator ride right today. The river here, it's just over 500 feet across. It's flowing more than 18 miles an hour. At this point, it's well over 150 feet deep. What you see on the other side of the river, last well, moves to New York and the United States. The border runs right through the middle. 